will be visiting with an extraordinary American family. Parents and seven talented children, two in medical school, three in college, and two still in high school, all seven of them first-rate classical musicians. If Mozart had composed a septet for winds and strings, this family could play it without any outside help at all. Just a dozen years ago, they were refugees on the last plane out of Saigon before it fell to the communists, immigrants with no money, no English, and no prospects. We'll be visiting with the Wynn family of San Antonio, Texas, later on Sunday morning. Our media critic, Ron Powers, will be along, bursting with pride and ambition and hope story of a family whose members will gather around their table this Thanksgiving Day and remember gratefully their many blessings. This is America, after all, land of contradictions, a crucible, and a melting pot. Robert Shackney with the story of an American family. I'm 24 years old, currently a first-year medical student. I've My name's Anne. I'm 22 years old. Um, I attend med, med school also. And the properties of the cells and um, basically determined by, you know, the... They are Wendy and Anne Wynn, sisters, in their first year in medical school at the University of Texas in San Antonio. Enough for any family to be proud of. But wait. My name is Sandy. I'm 21 years old. Currently, I'm attending Trinity University. My name is Phyllis. I'm 20. I'm a sophomore at Trinity University. My name is John. I'm 18 years old. I'm a freshman at Trinity. John is also a win. So are Sandy and Phyllis. That makes five of them, four sisters and a brother, in college or medical school at the same time. Surely enough for any family to be proud of. But wait. Um, my name is Debbie. I'm 17 years old. I'm attending Marshall High School. Uh, my name is Mike. I'm 15, and I go to John Marshall High School. You guessed it. Mike and Debbie are wins, too. All seven are the children of Mai and Kim Wynn of San Antonio, Texas, formerly of Saigon. Living in Vietnam for us is a question of life or death. Twelve years ago, April 1975, the world was falling apart for the winds and their seven small children. Saigon was besieged, about to be overrun by the North Vietnamese. For the retired chief of South Vietnamese Air Force counterintelligence, there was no future. Did you leave anyone behind in your family? Uh, yes, um, my brother's my only one. And what's happened to him? You. I wonder. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, talking about him. Mai and Kim Win and their seven children escaped narrowly, flying out on the very last plane to leave Saigon before the fall. Refugees with no money, no English, no prospects. What a 12 years it has been ever since. That's Phyllis playing the violin. John, the cello. Sandy, the viola. They're playing a Haydn divertimento. Or if you prefer a wind quintet, they'll play you a quintet. children, the two medical students, the three college students, the two high school students, is also an accomplished classical musician. I play the bassoon. I play the oboe and the piano. 
And I play viola and French horn. And I play the flute and the violin. And I play cello and drums. Mm -hmm. I play the saxophone and the viola. And I play the piano, clarinet, and violin. The music began in grade school before the oldest of the children, Wendy, had learned much English. The teacher just gave me an instrument, a bass clarinet, and uh, he saw that I excel in that after three months, and they needed a bassoon player, so he said, why don't you play the bassoon? I said, okay, what does it look like? <laughs> what is it? And uh, so he just sat me down and showed me some fingering, and I picked it up. And then it becomes like a family tradition I started, and and picked it up after that with the following year with the oboe in band in um, junior high, right? An right. oboe? I mean, you did it because your sister was doing it? Well, you know, she has so much fun in band, so I, I wanted to go in and, and play something too, you know, and, um, and that, that was the instrument, you know, that they designated for me. With me, it was more like a joke. I didn't want to play because I always thought violins were for sissies, right? And we're not <laughs> sissies. But uh, I came home, I said, look, Dad, they're offering free violin lessons. And, and, she, and, and he looked at me and said, yeah, well, why don't you play? I said, no, 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 no. And we, one thing led to another. And, <laughs> and, and here you are, a violin and a flutist. And a flutist. The reason why I took cello is because they took violin, and after a while, Sandy switched to viola, so they needed a, a cellist to fulfill a trio. So that's the main reason why I chose cello. Well, actually, they my... We chose yeah, it for they you. Yeah, they chose it for me. I got to know the Nuyens when I was conducting the San Antonio Youth Orchestra. Jean Carinci is now professor of music at Trinity University. When, when I, when I uh, stood on a podium for the first time conducting the orchestra, um, I immediately heard talent in, in the principal oboe and principal bassoon. The oboist was Ann Nuyen and the bassoonist was Wendy Nuyen. And uh, when you hear talent like that, it's easily recognized and, and you pick up on it right away. Now we have three more Nuyens and expect uh, two more in the not too uh, distant future. I think that any one of them could be a professional musician if they, de if they decided to do that, to go that route. Just like that? I can handle that. Very, that I can handle. Very lightly, okay? Oh, come on. The seven musicians, who all live at home, astound a visitor with their energy. All help around the house. Three of them earn money as weekend professional musicians, and the others sometimes join them. If they want a trio, we have a string trio, uh, quartets. Mm -hmm. we, we've done a, uh, a wedding where five of us would, would be playing at one time. And it just depends on how much, uh, what the instrumentation needs are. We can furnish it most of the time. It is a crisis. It's very good, Sandy. Phyllis and Sandy also hold down part-time non-music jobs. The money they earn goes into a common family fund. They never seem to slow down. When do you sleep? We don't. Did I forget to mention that? <laughs> no, uh, my bedtime is like 2 in the morning yeah. every time. Especially because we... We put our studies first, and then music starts at midnight, <laughs> practicing till two. But it's Sometimes really later. Yeah, it's really hard on our parents, I think, to. Uh, <laughs> they're very accepting with our schedule. Uh, I don't know any any other family would allow their kids to start even practicing after ten. You know, and we can start whenever we want to, and do whatever we want to. My dad just goes to bed with, what, cotton plugs in his ears? No, no he enjoys we it. We put him to bed, Wendy. No. 